Hey, it's me, Tom. You know, TRB Collectibles and, and Chris. Hey, Chris. Don't touch garbage, Chris. No. That's not what we're here for. That's not worth anything. Look what I found at the swap meet. No, today. that's 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 not it. That's not it, everybody. No, that's, that's not gonna help you. Well, I'm cleaning up the environment. Well, if you put rare out of print and you put like limited edition San Diego, I think you potentially could get nothing for that item. Uh, let's see. Let me tell you what these ingredients are. First of all, this was caramel ganache brownies. It's so gross, everybody. But we're headed to a thrift store that we went to last week. The parking lot. <laughs> the parking lot was so full that we have to park down the block. This place has new stuff every day. The prices are really good. Chris found a bobblehead last week for how much? What? What bobblehead did you find last week? How many bobbleheads? How many? Two. And what were they worth? Like, as in what, what are you asking me? Like, what was the main bobblehead that you were excited to find? That you were surprised at what the price point was? Oh, you're asking me what the overall price was? Yeah. Uh, I don't know, I haven't sold it yet. Well, he found a bobblehead that was worth a hundred dollars, and I found a couple decent DVDs. So we just <laughs> so we decided to come back to this thrift store and see if we could find anything else because they have more stuff than I can imagine, and it looks like they don't hold anything back. Still haven't found a trash can yet. <sighs> but that's our adventure for today. I'll try to get as much footage as I can. Chris will try to find something, and even a garbage can at this point. And uh, we will be back and let you know what we find. I feel like I've gum on the bottom of my shoe. <laughs> Help me, everybody. It's Chris. Now, when I first came into this store, like in weeks past, it's really paid out in terms of media, and I'm talking DVDs and Blu-rays, but today I am struggle busing. I cannot find a single thing that's worth the flip. Either somebody came before me, or they just didn't get good stuff in. Now, if you're thrift stores like mine, it'll have a section for large plastic toys, and eh, it's something to look over, right? But you'd be surprised. Sometimes Power Ranger Megazords sneak their way in there, and also, don't forget, Jurassic Park dinosaurs also hold the value. So don't overlook it. You might be missing out on profit. So take a look next time. Now let's talk about the random items that could come in a plastic bag at a thrift store. Not every thrift store will have them, but these are the whatnot things that they're just trying to make a decent amount of money on because they can't sell them individually and they're more than likely going to have to throw them away. I used to overlook these all the time until I saw some other resellers start talking about you're not looking for the whole bag, you're looking for that one piece in each bag. Because potentially one piece could pay for the whole bag and more. You just have to look. The thrift store employees are taking all these loose cars and what have you, the small items, putting them in bags and marking them at $5. Otherwise, they just have to throw everything away. So you can find that one car, that one piece. And remember, this isn't only just toys. It could be other categories as well. I have found a remote control, a universal remote control, that was worth $50, and they only wanted $5 for the bag. But in the bag with the remote was some hand soap from a hotel, crayons, and a little writing pad. It didn't make any sense what was with the remote, but the remote is what paid for the whole thing and more. Don't overlook them. Totally worth it. Not everything's going to be a winner, but if you find it, you're going to make some really, really decent profit. Sometimes thrift stores think that they are retail locations, and that's perfectly fine. Granted, the majority of the other pricing is pretty good, but when I saw these cards, granted I didn't know what these cards were, they marked them at $50. I looked them up, and they were not worth it, especially if they're a mystery and they're taped shut. I'm not willing to take that risk for 50 But would you be willing to take that risk for 50 taped and not being able to open it before you buy it? Let me know in the comments down below. I'd like to know. Some things are worth paying for, and some things aren't worth the gamble. Okay, this might sound silly, but it's not. There are a whole bunch of LEGO manuals, and if you're unfamiliar with LEGO, one, it's a great toy. Two, the manuals can be worth money, not necessarily the newer ones, 
but I'm talking the older vintage 90s or 2000s or limited edition or limited amount of created Lego sets where they didn't make a lot of those manuals because potentially you could flip those on either eBay or a site called Bricklink. Bricklink is, de is like the eBay of the Lego world, but it also can provide you a great amount of information if you are buying and trying to flip a Lego set or want to know more about it. It's extremely helpful, but Lego manuals, if you can get them for the right price, do really, really well. So don't pass on them. If you can get them, pick them up, sell them in a lot if they're not worth it, but people are looking to buy them because they don't want to just do the print on online instructions. They actually want the physical manual to complete their set. If you're interested in learning a little bit more about BrickLink and how to utilize it to determine value on LEGO sets, pieces, parts, and manuals, I did make a video going over how to price out a set. If you're interested, I'll link it, not only above, but also down below. The video will be called, From Malta to Market Value, Decoding the LEGO Rock Raider's Worth with BrickLink. Chris has the whole world in his hands. He has the whole world. Well, you know what I'm going with. Now, Chris found this globe and wanted to see if it had the value, but granted, it did not have the power supply. When we did look up comps, it was not worth it to hold on to, but do not pass on certain electronic globes that provide information, more so educational tools, uh, because you'd be surprised. People actually pay decent money to get one. You just need to have all the pieces and parts and make sure that it works. See, I told you not everything is a toy in a bag. Now, this is literally everything else, and sometimes they might underprice it because they don't know what it's valued at. And I find a lot of Texas Instrument calculators in a bag that I can make good money on, so keep your eye out. So we just got out of the thrift store. Um, Chris, what'd you think today? It was okay. It wasn't fantastic. Was it full of stuff? Yeah. But was it full of stuff to resell? Not so much. But Chris did walk away with something for himself. Chris, what did you buy? Captain America. Chris is a huge Marvel fan and loves collecting Marvel art. Wherever we go, whether it be the thrift store, estate sales, flea markets, he finds it all. And I found a bobblehead of a hockey player that I have no idea who it is, but it was three bucks. And I should be able to sell it for 20. So I can't complain. Chris? Can't take that home, Chris. So overall, wasn't a bad trip to the thrift store, still fun. Chris finally threw away that piece of garbage he held onto the entire walk we were here. And it wasn't bad. Overall, I'd give it a, a decent rating. Give it like a six and a half out of 12. And we're going to call it an episode, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you have the time, be sure to click that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, go ahead and try to subscribe again. I'd greatly appreciate it. Chris would too, right, Chris? Yep. Just Tom, just me, and this bobblehead. I'll see you soon. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's episode, please be sure to click on that like button. And if you have some extra time, check out some of these other episodes. Thanks!